Okay, I uh, want to show you uh, what uh, the bottom of this, uh, my one of my favorite lakes. Uh, it's called Birigo Lake. Um, the bottom of it looked like uh, using Raymarine Axiom uh, fish finder. And uh, so let me take you there. This is the name of the restaurant you want to put in. Um, or you can put in Angler's Inn parking lot uh, restrooms. So this is uh, right off MacArthur Boulevard in Maryland, uh, right along the Potomac River. This uh, section of the boulevard, or this road, it's actually very pretty. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, it's right off 495, the Beltway of 495 in uh, Maryland. And um, so I decided to take my Raymarine Maxim Axiom 9 inches uh, fish finder to go here to scan things out. This uh, deep canal lake. Um, if you live in the Tri-State Maryland, D.C., Virginia area, you know this famous uh, Beatty Go Lake hiking trail. It's really, really beautiful. So um, what you do is you come to here, Old Angler's Inn on the right, and then Angler's Inn parking lot restroom on the left. And then you drive into this uh, service road or this... Uh, um, off the pavement road and you into the dirt road you you at the bottom of this hill there is a tiny parking lot actually they're they're parking lot right here they're parking lot on the top just a little bit over uh, going around the bend the curve on the left hand side there are a ton of uh, parking lot but it gets very crowded so you know when the parking lots up here and also down here are uh, full occupied and then you know a lot of people actually park their cars along the MacArthur Boulevard on both sides of the streets they park there and um, you know walk back to the uh, the parking lot here and then down this foot trail as you can see here so um, down this foot trail and then across the bridge and here this trail can lead you all the way to Fletcher Bowhouse and all the way to Georgetown and then all the way to Washington DC. It's very beautiful this canal bike uh, this canal trail. It's very long. But um, today we're not going there. We're, we're turning to the right. After you pass the footbridge, you turn to the right. But um, what I have is a kayak, so I or a canoe. I park my uh, car here and then I I'm going to measure how uh, far there's no boat ramp so you just have to um, park the car and then uh, you have to have a dolly to um, push you or kayak or canoe right now there's no water in the canal uh, before you hit the open lake here uh, it's not a big lake, but it's very pretty. It, there are big boulders on both sides. That's why it's National Park. Very, very beautiful. So um, let me show you how far this is going to be. So you have to use a, a dolly, canoe dolly, or a kayak uh, in order to get here. It's not that far, as you can see here. And... Uh, it's only uh, a little bit over uh, 2,000 feet and uh, 600 meters, you know, um, and then you will be there. So 600 meters, uh, 2,000 feet. You have to, you know, take your um, kayak or a canoe there. So if, if your kayak is so heavy, you just simply cannot do it. You know, you, you cannot carry it by hand. You need some kind of system to help you roll the kayak or the canoe to here so so this is where um um where the uh Birigo lake is so here is the Birigo lake the water depth in this lake is uh pretty deep it goes down to 30 feet almost 40 feet you know um the deeper end which is over here 
and these are the small islands, rock islands. Um, it's very beautiful. Tons of uh, large mouse bass and small mouse bass. And the trail, it, it, it's very, it's a very popular trail. So tons of people hiking here. Um, you know, I even caught fish over here, um, and also around the. Oh, let me clear the measurement here. Clear measurement. I caught fish over here, um, you know, around the rocks, tons of white perch and so forth, you know. Uh, crappies over here, I caught fish over here by this island. It's very pretty, you know. So um, this actually, this canal actually uh, goes all the way up to, uh, see, lock 15. And then um, you cannot go over above that because it's a... It's a lock. I'll show you in a second. So there is a see there is a wood uh, blocking this uh, canal, so you cannot go um, further up, as you can see over here. You know, so this is what I'm talking about, and it's, it gets very shallow when you get to this point. Um, let's get out of there. You know, and then uh, if you keep walking. So this is the Bitty Go Trail. If you keep walking, it's very beautiful, you know. And there is a cliff over here, and then um, you can actually hike uh, from this uh, boardwalk all the way to the uh, overlook, overlooking the beautiful Great Fall from the Maryland side. You can also drive to here, which is the the park and pay uh, park Maryland uh, Park or uh, what is it? And then pay for parking from the Mark Arthur Boulevard here. So you enter here, you pay for park, you pay for parking, and then you come here to park. You know, it's a very beautiful place, and there is a grateful uh, visitor center. The parking lot is somewhere around here. Okay, so it's uh, very very beautiful. So let's uh, get down to it and let's uh, take a look of the three D fish finder. What we can see in the 3D fish finder. Okay, so let's uh, get to our uh, thing. And um, if you, let me show you what, uh, what the drive look like. So this is um, on the MacArthur Boulevard as I'm uh, carrying my canoe on the top. And uh, you can see here, let's fast forward this, and then you're gonna come to this, uh, this here is the, the restroom and on the left and here is the dirt, dirt road and then uh, you come into here you know tons of parking as you can see here um, what i do is i drive down to the bottom um, all the way to the bottom to drop the canoe or kayak so this way i don't have to transport the canoe or kayak from the top of the parking lot and uh, you know a lot of time this little parking lot is full so you just have to drop the stuff and then come back down again. And then from here, you go through this little iron gate. And then uh, you just, you know, um, and then, you know, as you can see, you know, I was catching fish uh, right away. Right now, I am in the little canal. And here is the footpath, the trail. Here is the narrow canal. And I caught a small bass, as you can see here, with that crankbait. Right now, this canal is there's no water in in it. That's why you have to transport your canoe or kayak. Um, see, you know. So I was pointing to the open lake area. Okay, so there you have it. So let me um, let me uh, play this thing here. So this is a uh, duck. He was uh, not afraid of me. He was looking to see if I have anything to feed him. Uh, but sorry, I don't. You know, circling around me and trying to see if I can feed him something. Sorry. Ducky, 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 I don't have anything for you. Sorry. So that's my native kayak uh, uh, propelled 10 feet 
kayak and I was just setting up the Raymarine Axiom 9 inch uh, with a Real Vision RV100 transducer it's a 3D fish finder and as you can see here um, here we go so we got the we got the fish finder going and um, you know and everything you know so it's pretty cool and uh, it's very cold it's water temperature is only 50 degrees and it's 10 feet deep um, <clears throat> so I have um, the traditional sonar and the side vision sonar and also the 3d sonar over here as you can see this is the real vision 3d that's my YouTube channel and the Real Vision RV100 is the transom mount transducer and it's a Raymarine Axiom 9 inches. We got a little bit of action over here, you know, some tiny fish here. Um, but for the most part, the lake is pretty barren, meaning there is no fish. Um, you know, very cold and very deep. It's 12 feet deep already, you know, and... Um, so let's fast forward this thing, you know, it's kind of boring here, you know, because uh, for the for the most part, it's there's nothing. There's nothing in the leg, even in the, and I, I, I'm scanning, you know, 150 feet uh, to both sides of my boat. As you can see, there's nothing, you know, nothing in the traditional sonar, nothing in the 3D sonar, nothing in the side vision sonar, you know, it's pretty boring. And then here we see something over here. Not sure what that was. So, um, see, I am not even sure this is a fish. I think it's a fish, but it's, you know, super long, super thin. You know, water temperature, water depth is about 12 feet. Water temperature is 50 feet, uh, 50 degrees. There's a little bit of action there. You know, blue dots, fish. Same thing with the traditional sonar. Yeah, because it's an incline, so there's some kind of fish gathering around here. Huddled together, it's too cold. Nobody is moving, nobody is feeding, you know. They're all huddled uh, together as um, they, you know, at the bottom, it's seven feet, and they're all bunched, bundled together, you know, over here. There's some over here, maybe grass, maybe something, I don't know. And the 3D is not showing anything. Yeah, there we go. There is a hard bottom rock, you know, kind of. Um, oh yeah, see, tons of fish in the 3D and certainly the traditional sonar is showing something. And, um, Here we go. So we're back again. Oh, because I added the speed over the ground. It's 0.2 miles. I'm drifting a little bit, 0 0.78, 1.4 0 mile per hour, because um, I do need the speed to pick up and then uh, be able to scan uh, more of this lake. Now I'm at 2.3 mile per hour. And you can see this, the, the depth is uh, sloping upwards um, from... Let's see how deep that was. Oh, yeah, 16 feet deep. See, from 16 feet deep, um, gradually sloping up to 12 feet. Um, but there, I'm surprised this slope, there's nothing here. There's no fish here. See that? And there is a change in depth. Typically, there would be uh, fish hanging around here. The big fish hanging around at the deep end, you know, waiting for the small fish come from the shallow end. They would just grab them. You know, but there is nothing. You know, it's so cold and so barren. You know, let's continue to play this. So you see the dark area, that's the shore. That's the rock above the water line. On my right, 75 feet. You know, okay, there's some action over here. Not sure if that's a rock or whatever. You know, oh yeah, see, there's some. And some fish over here. Well, 3D is not showing anything, so that may be just that may just be a tree uh, stump or rock under under underwater um, uh, rocks or something. You know, let let's roll back to that to see. There we go.
So this may be an underwater rocks or something, you know. Over here, something too. That's uh, almost 150 feet away. This is, you know, between, um, where is it, 40 and 75 feet. It's a big chunk of, uh, but the traditional sonar is not showing anything because it's the traditional sonar is showing directly underneath me. But these are scanning to um, the right of my boat. Now it's going up to eight feet, so I'm uh, coming up to an underwater uh, hump. You know, shallow spot. It's like an underwater mountain hump. There's some grassy uh, underneath, uh, on top of this rock here. You know, the red color is the solid bottom, and then the water depth is going down. See that? I'm um, going down to 20 feet now. 20 feet from 10 feet from a feet you know so there, that's a quick slope dropping uh, as well and we don't see any fish in the 3d fish finder and we don't see anything in the in um this may be a i don't know i don't think it's a middle um oh there's some fish over here see that green dots and that you can see that it's over here and you can see it over here side fish finder is showing something that may be a rock Oh, more fish. See that? 3D is showing a lot of bay fish down there. But the traditional sonar is showing nothing. You know, and we just passed. Let me roll back the tape. All right, so this may be it. This may be the, the, the fish on the 3D sonar over here. And side fish finder over here. But the traditional sonar, sonar is not showing as much, you know. 3D sonar is showing to the right, you know, and we just passed it, you know. So there's some uh, fish over here to the right hand side, and we see some fish over here. You know, it's pretty deep. As you can see, it's 37 feet, almost 40. We see a lot of fish to the right now, and uh, the traditional sonar is identifying them at 37 feet, 35 feet. You know, it's pretty deep, these big guys. Oh, see tons of fish now. See, they all huddle at the bottom. See that? Traditional sonar is showing tons of fish, and 3D is showing tons of fish. See that? That's all, you know, over here too. So I'm turning back um, around to, to try to capture these fish. The 3D sonar at the 27 feet, you know, it's all huddled together at, at the bottom. You see that? That's the traditional sonar, and that's the that's the side finder over here, over here. You know, I'm under, right underneath my boat. There is the 3D sonar, so I'm turning back to try to you know get that, and I'm at 1.3 mile per hour speed. It's a good speed to spend scan. You can see you know some action over here. I should reduce the side finder range. Um, so I get a better, uh, clearer picture in my side finder. You know, now I'm drifting to 0.6 mile per hour. You see some action right underneath the boat. That's my line here. You know, I decided to drop a fishing line to see if I can hook something up. It's pretty deep, 36 feet, 37 feet deep. Take a take a while to let the line down there. You know, certainly I didn't catch anything otherwise I would be able to show you in this video it's too cold 50 degrees it's very difficult to catch them certainly I'm not a pro that's why you know I'm not catching them otherwise I would be able to pull up a few fish and show you 35 feet deep 50 uh, degrees water temperature the speed over ground SOG is 0.2 mile per hour I'm drifting and this is my line you can see uh, it can it can the fish finder can clearly identify my line fishing line. See that? Yeah, I don't have the down vision in this. I mean, I should show the four. Um, what do you call that? Four uh, screen. Oh, go away! Yeah, my iPhone uh, battery started to uh, it, it's it's too low. Twenty percent only. Twenty percent remaining. So it's giving me that. Um, 
warning as you can see i'm coming up to these nice uh fishing or fish images at the bottom traditional is showing them not so much in the side finder so next time i should narrow this to maybe 20 feet to the right 20 feet to the left instead of the 75 feet to the right and actually 150 feet to both sides on my boat you see tons of fish identifying the 3d image here and the traditional is also showing you know it's these light green light blue thing that's the fish uh, right above the hard red color button rocks that means this is rock so why do they lie on the rock because rock uh, gets sunshine during the day and uh, it's uh, releasing the warmth um, on the surface of the rock that's why these uh, fish all hug the bottom or hug the rocks to try to keep warm and stay warm okay so sorry for this uh, low battery warning uh, image that's blocking the middle on my uh, uh, beautiful 3d sonar image this is Billy Gold Lake Maryland and the water temperature is 28 feet Water, water temp, sorry, water temperature is uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 49 degrees and the depth is about 28 feet. It's very deep and I'm using Real Vision RV100 uh, 3D transducer with Raymarine Axiom 9 inch uh, multifunction display. Um, so it's very pretty, okay? Um, please follow along and subscribe. Thank you for watching.